Let's go. New video from the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office shows a Dodge Charger flying past the sheriff at over 140 miles per hour and ultimately causing a multi-vehicle crash involving extreme forces. Let's take a closer look. The first encounter at extreme speeds happened shortly, and it underscores the threats posed to law enforcement even when doing a comparatively low-risk action, like attempting to deploy stop sticks. And the video shows the difficulty humans face when a vehicle is rapidly accelerating almost directly at them. It can be very difficult to see how quickly a car is closing in on you until it's almost too late, especially in low-light situations. Thankfully, these two veteran law enforcement officers listened to their spidey sense that night to stay on a side street and off the main road for the deployment of the stop sticks. Maryland, Red Charger, from Pete. Yeah. Call it out? Yep. Don't call it out. Call it out. Let's go. Where'd your stick go? It, right against the curb. We're good. I've never seen a car go that fast. At those speeds, the law enforcement officers made no attempt to pursue, especially in a city environment. But they do follow along the path in case of a crash ahead. And a crash ahead there certainly is. Listen as they quickly assess the severity of the crash and immediately call for medics. But also watch and observe how the reckless actions of just one individual require the work of dozens of trained professionals to help clean up and restore. Three, seven, three, three. Shut these off. 2756, do you still need the 10 3? It crashed Maryland, west of Hazelwood. Maryland, where? It crashed Maryland, west of Hazelwood. Go ahead, Alan, that's it. Where are you set? Crashed Maryland west of Hazelwood on the air to report we were in the entire city. 327, go again. Roll D28, this is 25, Medics. Start medics. Start medics. Roll D25, Medics. These extreme crash forces always require extrication or heavy recovery, firefighters using steel busting tools to free the driver from his wreckage. This driver who fled at high speeds is breathing, but not conscious. They may have a brain injury, their mental capacity may be damaged permanently, all due to their own actions they made that night. Had a major accident here. That car that you saw flying by us, it wasn't even being pursued at that point. It is a stolen car. That car you're looking at, it's a stolen. The driver of the stolen is inside the car. We were monitoring him. He was unconscious but breathing, as you could tell. And uh, so. As, our, as we prefer, you see that car to the right of it, that's the second car he hit. It looks like the first car he hit is over on the right side, got driven over the other side. That person's injured and being treated. And this party here in the silver car was the second car he hit, and that, part, that party is not around. We do not, we do not know. But that, that uh, Charger, Pat checked him in, comes back as a stolen car out of Maplewood. But I got to tell you, I've seen a lot of fast cars, folks, and uh, I've never seen a car moving that fast when it came by us at Duluth. Glad we weren't in the street because we might have got hit. That car was doing more than 140. Never seen something travel that fast. So 
uh, and I'm sure you saw it as well. That's why Pat was a little slow getting that stick out. Anyhow, if you haven't shared this yet, share this, explain to your friends what you're looking at is a stolen charger that fled from Alex down by Case Playground and then even when he wasn't chasing it, it continued to uh, flee at an extremely high rate of speed. This was a stolen vehicle and car thefts and carjackings have increased considerably post pandemic. Consider a tracking device for your vehicle or even hiding a cheap and simple $25 Apple AirTag in the car. And never leave a handgun in your car. You don't want a car thief to steal your car and get your gun as a bonus. I, I tell you, somebody, I don't ever watch our videos, but I'm gonna watch this one. That blur that went by, that red blur that went by us. I never seen a car go that fast. And, it, and I've seen a lot of fast cars, but that was unbelievable. I'd guess, I'd guess 150 when he went past us. Well, good find, Action Alex. Good find. Thank you, gentlemen. Can talk about 1619 Maryland last night, huh? Yeah. So uh, last night there was an armed carjacking at 1619 Maryland. The Thanks, sus Mike. suspect Thanks. vehicle involved was a red Dodge Charger with no plates. And uh, he had a uh, he had a very real looking replica gun in his crotch. Well, the one today. Not, yeah, we don't we don't know what gun was used yesterday, but we know the gu the guy arrested today matches the description car, and he had a fake gun that was very realistic. Very very realistic. I can't. I'm still. I'm still in a state of shock. At how fast that guy was flying. Yeah, but tell him somebody brought your stick back to you. Oh yeah, well, a back seater went and got my stop stick that we had to leave at the scene. Fortunately, it was against the median and not in the traffic lane. And they brought it to us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vince and Twyla. Well, and just to explain how the accident looks like it happened, we know he was traveling at an unbelievable speed here. Wouldn't be able to make any of these turns. So he continued eastbound on Maryland. No and, squads had him in sight. No. Eastbound on Maryland, um, past Clarence, past Johnson Parkway, and then on the hill there at, uh, on the hill there at Barkley, you can't really see who's in front of you on that hill when you're at that hill. He goes over the hill. It looks appears that he rear-ended this other car that was over to the right. You didn't really see that on our video. He rear-ended a car that gets driven and torn to shreds over there, and then <coughs> and then uh, he his car gets spun around after he rear-ends that one, and then the, the rear end of his car. It's a westbound car head-on, that silver one. And of course that one got turned around, but his car got impacted from both ways. The driver was actually in the back seat because he got thrust in the back seat. With the steering wheel between his legs, the steering wheel completely broke loose from the column yeah. and was between his legs as he was sitting in the back seat. Yeah. And uh, we're sitting right here. I was I was originally thinking, you know, sometimes we just pull over on the same street because they're only going, you know, 45 to 50. Boy, I'm glad we did. But I pulled over here just because just because it was a charger. And I got to get a video. I'm going to get a stop picture of Pat throwing that stick. But that car was really flying. 